This video is about my autonomous sonar boat. A while back, I got an underwater drone. And while it's been fun to cruise around and find various things on the bottom, it's kind of hard to scan a whole lot of area with it. So I tried to find a more efficient way to see the bottom of these lakes and find interesting things to dive on. And that's how Sonar Boat was born. Today is the first time I'm taking Sonar Boat out. We've got a mission planned out. I'm gonna try and do a full scan of this reservoir and see if there's anything interesting down there. It's dead calm tonight. And since only the power company is allowed to take manned boats out on this lake, there won't be any other boats to worry about. Since Sonar Boat is so small, it might be kind of affected by wind and waves, but since it's perfectly calm tonight, it should give us good results. I'll have to do some tests in the future and see if it really is that bothered by wind and waves. Sonar Boat is built from a 36 inch boogie board. It carries a side scan sonar unit on it, which is commonly used for fishing. It gives you an amazingly accurate image of the bottom. It's got an autopilot on board that lets me preset a route for it to go drive. I just hit record on the sonar and let it run the route and then I take it home and I can review what the sonar saw. Getting sonar boat up and running wasn't all smooth sailing. I'm much more familiar with aerial drones, so I kind of started with the wrong motors. They were too low KV and they didn't come with props, so I had to 3D print some of my own. I ended up over pitching the props and that resulted in some desyncing of the motors and the speed was kind of slow. I ended up switching to some higher KV motors and 6S batteries and then the boat was pretty fast. Even though these motors were rated for 6S, they were having some weird issues, so I ended up going back to 4S batteries. But I can still do 3 miles an hour, which is the scanning speed that I need to hit, so it works out. Getting back to the mission in progress, it's going to be about 3 miles down and back and take roughly an hour. The mission was set up to scan one side of the reservoir, make a turn at the end, and then come back on the other side of the reservoir. And that will hopefully give me a full view of the bottom. All right, we just passed waypoint five, on our way to waypoint six. Originally, I had sonar boat set up to use skid steer. That was where one motor would be used to turn left, and the other motor would be used to turn right. Both motors would be used to go straight. Fortunately, I didn't really like the way skid steer worked. It was kind of jerky and it didn't track all that straight. Also, if you ever get weeds wrapped around one prop, it would just go in circles and you'd be stuck out in the lake. So I ended up designing a new setup where there's just a single post and there's a motor mount on each side. There's no more differential steering through the motors anymore. And instead, it just has a simple rudder and a waterproof servo to actuate it. My original design just had a single rudder in the center, but it wasn't very effective. So I redesigned it with dual rudders and that gave me pretty accurate steering. The halfway point. the boat itself running pretty well and set up right, it was time to add the sonar. And this turned out to be the hardest part. I had a ton of issues with noise. I couldn't figure out exactly where it was coming from. I did a ton of testing and I probably didn't do the best job of it, but I did it mostly in my bathtub. It was just a long drive to get out to the lake every time. And unfortunately, I think that pointed me in some bad directions. I was convinced that the motors themselves were what was causing the interference. 
I even got to the point where I could dip the motors into the water where they were running and see the noise and then take them out and the noise would go away. So then I wasted a ton of time redesigning the whole drive system. My idea was that if I took all the electrical parts out of the water, then there wouldn't be any noise getting into the water and getting into the transducer. I mounted the motors above the water and used flexible shafts down to props in the water. When I tested this in the bathtub, there was no noise at all on the sonar unit itself. But as soon as I got it out on the lake and did some more testing, the noise was back. At this point, I was pretty much out of new ideas, so I decided to take all the transducer wiring out of the electronics box, put it in another box in the front of the boat that was wrapped in aluminum foil, kind of like a Faraday cage. And finally, this solved all the noise. It turns out that the noise was coming from the transducer wiring and the cables for the battery. It didn't have anything to do with the motors. Thought we were gonna have a collision. The ducks all took off. Very peaceful. Right, it's on our boat. This is why I didn't want to do air props when everybody said put air props on it. It makes no noise. We're on the home stretch. Just gonna come back towards the boat ramp, do another little corner past the boat ramp, and then come back and we'll be done. Stretch three, three waypoints left. So, after just over an hour, completely hands off and autonomous, the boat came back to the launch. Everything seemed to have run perfectly. Now it's just time to unload the SD card with the sonar logs, get it home, and put it in the computer to see what was down there. And the results? Well, we got great images of the bottom. However, I didn't really see anything that looked too interesting to dive on. There's another section of this lake that was roped off so I couldn't have the boat drive out into it, and I'll have to do another mission and see if there's much down there. That area is more popular with fishermen, and more likely that there's more things that have gone into the water there. Here's a couple images though. There's some bait fish or trout, there's a large trout at about the center of the screen. We've got a lot more lakes in my area that are worth scanning. I've heard about some sailboats that have sank in the 70s. I know there's a few missing airplanes. I know that there's actually a World War II bomber crashed in a high mountain lake. It'd be great to scan if I can get myself motivated to get up there. So keep an eye out for more sonar boat videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.